one response I give to people when they say, you know, how do you fit into this bigger picture of what we're facing is exactly what Eric said, which is, uh, I guess I should say Mr. Sandstrom, right? No, that's okay. in, in your guys' world, Mr. Sandstrom is what is yours. So look, what I tell Mr. Sandstrom all the time is what we are confronting as a community here, those issues have a greater impact on your generation than they do on the generation that came before you. Here are three great examples. Education. Education is an investment, not just in yourself as an individual. You guys work hard. You're in an AP class, presumably because you care about the kind of family you want to have and the future that you want to have, but also it's broader than that. As a country, for us to compete, we need young people who are bright to continue down this road. So, you know, salute yourself in the morning and keep on doing it because uh, eventually I think you guys will be part of that leadership generation. Uh, secondly, though, there's a lot that's happening in Washington, D.C. that hurts uh, the generation that we're all in. I probably think we, sh we share a generation. And the fact is, you know, the, the measuring stick is always what kind of America did the generation have before and what kind of America is the next generation going to have. The definition of responsibility is leaving in America a country that we can all enjoy the same way our parents did. Well, so many of these programs that we're talking about, whether it's, I'm sure you guys have heard the term Social Security or Medicare, the stability, the survival of these programs uh, is kind of in doubt for our generation. And so suddenly we're now throwing, throwing doubt, we're throwing into the shadows this question of what kind of America are we going to enjoy. So look, it's incredibly important for everyone to have a voice, but our generation is going to have to really uh, apply some pressure here in a positive way.